According to my calculations, the cockpit is going to collapse in a few years, but the fuselage could then be used as shelter. That light flashed somewhere over there. Might be some native civilization. We might find intelligent life. <laughs> How exciting! You cannot tell what it is yet. It is too far away and the path leading you there might be dangerous. Yet my sensors read that your heart rate is increasing from excitement. Stuff like this is why I'm here, Kor. Discovering things. Even if it is just natural resources. I just wish I could have explored without an emergency. Crazy. A moldy swamp with spooky lights. Normally that would be something I should find scary or unpleasant, but right now I just feel happy. Plants mean life. Water and food. I shouldn't just drink the water or pick a fruit on the off chance it might be okay though. And Kor, please let me know if there's any dangerous creature approaching from behind a bush. I shall scan the number of teeth to assess the creature's danger level before it pounces on you. That's very kind of you. Okay. Kor, has the signal changed at all? Negative. It is unchanged and still active at the same strength and same relative distance. I can't see the light anymore. Uh, oh well. Whatever it is, the signal might be useful. Maybe I can repurpose it. Can you fly ahead and scan the ground to tell me where I can walk? Confirmed. So far, so good. You made it look quite easy. Thanks. That wasn't my first climbing session. But as I thought, I won't be able to get back to the ship's wreckage. It would be logical to not waste time and instead look ahead, as long as the signal is active. Somehow I've got the feeling we're going to ask ourselves where ahead even is. I hope ahead doesn't mean through the undergrowth and straight into some animal's mouth. My sensors would register any animal with tessa-sized mouths. How reassuring. This is a dense network of individual plant fibers that extend underground for many kilometers. They are all part of the same species and leave no room for others. The signal is coming from this direction. No, I can't get back up there to the wreck. The signal is coming from this direction. The signal is coming from this direction. The signal comes from this direction, but you will not be able to overcome the water. There's bound to be a way around it. The signal is coming from this direction. This just keeps getting better. Wouldn't it be nice if life was easy? Intergalactic Mining Corporation. No progress without obstacles. Yeah, yeah, I know the propaganda. Do you know the slogan's origin? 
I may have mild amnesia core, but I know that I always deliberately disregarded that information. The IMC's legendary founder, Walter Knight, derived his worldview and ethics from the video games he so thoroughly enjoyed playing. If there are no obstacles or problems in your way, then you're going in the wrong direction is what he always said. You should be on the lookout for obstacles. Hence, no progress without obstacles. <laughs> I thought some overpriced advertising company had come up with that slogan. But it's even worse. He came up with it while wasting his time on video games. Well, I guess he wanted to appear more down-to-earth, our Mr. Knight. And that's how people actually see him. Because they bombarded us with the slogan in every commercial. My market research data shows a correlation between the slogan's frequent repetition and the IMC's customer ratings. How nice for the IMC. Okay, obstacles. So that means we should be heading towards those mountains over there. They count as an obstacle, right? Correct. The signal is still about 4.1 kilometers away. And how are we going to get down there? Unfortunately, I have no data on how to overcome real-world obstacles. A lake that this huge plant grew into. It almost extends right up to my cliff. Only about 20 or 30 meters deeper. A huge plant that broke through from above and grew into the lake. There are insects sucking on it, glowing. If it's growing upwards, it has to be somewhere on this plateau. That is to be assumed. There are many here, but it is not clear which one it is. A huge crack in the rock wall. Looks like the plant broke through from above. If we find that rift, we might be able to climb down on the plant. Or we find the plant itself. I'm sure I've already been close to this ledge. It's part of this plateau I'm on after all. But even if I was right above it, it's still too much of a descent. The roots here have grown to become a net-like mesh. A net-like mesh made of roots. A swarm of insects happily feasting on a plant. They look like blown-up mosquitoes and are glowing green and yellow. I think they're ignoring me. In this place, they are too far away to reach. A plant growing beyond the crater's edge. <laughs> it's gonna be like a bridge soon. But it's too slippery to walk on even though it's got small indentations. A visual analysis shows that your bridge comparison is mainly unjustified. I would register it thus, mossy, slippery, unclimbable, leafy plant. And likes it moist and shady. Fertilize once a month. A small crater filled with blue tinged, slightly strange looking water. Is there something glinting at the bottom of the crater? Confirmed. There is an object consisting of various metals and salts in the middle of the crater that is shimmering blue. I can push them in a bit, but they're still wiggling.
Right. Now they're pretty stable. That might be useful. Careful. Do you think this is a good idea? Does taking this risk bring you closer to your goal? Chill out, Core. Unusual situations require unusual measures. And what I'm going to find in this crater is going to be quite unusual. According to my calculations, the outcome of climbing one of these plants is lethal in 9.4% of all cases. Statistics are no joke. I hurled my butt through space inside of a hunk of metal with controlled ionic detonations. You really think I'm scared of a bit of free climbing? This plant is sturdy and all that's beneath it is a puddle. And I have to climb it anyways to find a way out of this swamp because otherwise we'd die. Sometimes you have to live dangerously, Kor, or you might never live at all. Don't you have a curiosity algorithm? Or some humor routines? If we're really going to starve, dry up, or get eaten by aliens, I want to at least be able to laugh. You want me to be funny? Yes, exactly. Well... We'll practice. Okay then. Say something funny. Calculating. I'm waiting. Joke confirmed. What did the sun say to the earth? No, 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 I don't want you to tell me a joke. Make fun of our situation. About the swamp, our location, about me, about yourself, anything. I mean, you can tell me about dangers if you want, but just do it more... interestingly. More excitingly. Maybe even sarcastically. I understand. So, should you fall from the plant, please scream as loudly as possible so Mark Bennett can find us. Because I can't catch you or perform first aid. Hmm. Good attempt at sarcasm, Core. Could have been worse. Let's see. All I have to do is not drop it. Got it. And now... Pretty heavy. But... There it is. This plant seems to be dead and dried up, even though there's water in this crater. Looks like all the other plants had the same fate. And there aren't any insects here either. My sensors indicate that the roots of these plants have been damaged and the capillary vessels have been blocked by salt residue. The plant died of thirst. I hope all the trouble I went through with the meteorite was worth it. The blue shimmering meteorite from the crater. It's probably what caused the water to be blue. Highly likely. It is full of blue salt crystals that slowly dissolved in the water. What are you trying to do? Unpleasant, but... Unavoidable! Physical exertion to relieve stress? That should have been worth it. Take a look. Yes! The lake is turning blue! It looks like it's working. The mosquitoes turned blue for a second, but they flew away. 
They don't seem to like the plant's juice anymore after we tampered with it. Humankind is famous for this behavior. A function ecosystem that humanity does not fully comprehend is altered and permanently damaged, all out of pure self-interest. All the indigenous fauna can do is flee. If I can escape this planet by giving the indigenous fauna a bellyache, then I'll gladly be the poster child for my species' wrongdoings. I have seen worse specimens of your species. Unlike the others, these insects are glowing red. Hmm. If this plant was connected to the large one on the ledge, they'd be glowing blue. Biological logic dictates that they would have flown away to find another source of sustenance. You're right. Anyway, they might be able to show us the way. Right now they seem to be enjoying their food in peace. The water in this pond is very shallow and has a different color. It's red-brown instead of yellow-green. I can see something beneath it. Oh, and it reeks. Oh, that's a dead animal. Or, well, what remains of it. Looks like it's been dead for a few days. It's got feathers. Is that a... A toucan. What? No, that's impossible. It has to be some other animal that just looks very similar. The insects appear to be taking in the blood from the water through the plant. My scan was unable to detect any changes within the plant, however. The signal is coming from this direction. No, I can't get back up there. These remind me more of corals than of plants. They're even moving slightly, but apart from that, they seem uninteresting. Corals on Earth are more akin to animals than to plants. Tony would have been delighted to try and find out what exactly these things are. An impressive flower. Long, strange fibers are hanging out of it. I'll cut them off as far up as possible, but I'll leave most of them. I'm sure the plant needs them to survive. Fibers on a stick. Yes, that worked. Now all we need is a dark cave full of pressure plates that make arrows shoot out of the wall. What a strange thing to wish for. Shoo them away with that. Next time, however, a little more purposefully. Okay, this time more deliberate. But in which direction?
There was nothing special on this side of the swamp. It all looked the same. And the path seems to be just back here. But we also need some kind of reference point that we can follow. The signal will only take us to the edge. Damn it! I keep coming out at the same places. I think I've seen everything there is to see in this area. Confirmed. We must concentrate on what we have at hand. They went blue for a second. Did you see that? Affirmative. Then that must mean that this is a limb of the plant that goes down the edge towards the bottom. Does that make sense? Affirmative. Any other plant absorbing water that has been colored by this or any other meteorite should have withered by now. Excellent. Let's follow it. Here's the tear. That should be... interesting. You could just jump. There's a 91% chance of you slipping and falling anyway. I'd rather be deceived by your statistic. Now all we have to do is stick to the signal's direction. The torch is burned out anyway. signal is coming from this direction. The source is about 2.9 kilometers away and has not moved. Okay, Kor, let's go. You can nap later. We can manage the rest, too. Kor? Are you okay? The signal strength is decreasing rapidly. I will attempt to increase reception capacities to secure more precise coordinates. It's decreasing? Then... Collect as much data as you can. Completed. Good. Then... we should hurry. Okay, Kor. It's getting easier. How far are we... Unbelievable. An outpost of the IMC, number 1124. Looks deserted. Is this where the signal came from? It is highly likely that the signal was transmitted from here until it stopped abruptly a few minutes ago, probably from inside the facility. That's... <laughs> that's great. My sensors indicate a high irony content in your words. <laughs> You're right. I, I mean, 
This is just all so strange. Strange? Should you not be feeling relieved that we found this place? I am, but we should be careful. We don't know what's waiting for us. Can you see a way inside? There's a large gate there, Tessa. Thanks for the subtle hint. I doubt there'll be a red carpet reception for me if I ring the doorbell, but it's worth a try.